Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. We can know only that we know nothing, and that is the highest degree of human wisdom. When you love someone, you love the person as they are, and not as you'd like them to be. All happy families are alike. Each unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. If you look for perfection, you'll never be content. The only absolute knowledge attainable by man is that life is meaningless. Man cannot possess anything as long as he fears death, but to him who does not fear it, everything belongs. If there was no suffering, man would not know his limits, would not know himself. It is amazing how complete is the delusion that beauty is goodness. I think if it is true that there are as many minds as there are heads, then there are as many kinds of love as there are hearts. Respect was invented to cover the empty place where love should be. The most difficult subjects can be explained to the most slow-witted man if he has not formed any idea of them already. But the simplest thing cannot be made clear to the most intelligent man if he is firmly persuaded that he knows already, without a shadow of a doubt, what is laid before him. To tell the truth is very difficult, and young people are rarely capable of it. Only people who are capable of loving strongly can also suffer great sorrow. But this same necessity of loving serves to counteract their grief and heals them. What a strange illusion it is to suppose that beauty is goodness. There are no conditions to which a person cannot grow accustomed especially if he sees that everyone around him lives in the same way. It is amazing how complete is the delusion that beauty is goodness. Government is an association of men who do violence to the rest of us. If, then, I were asked for the most important advice I could give, that which I considered to be the most useful to the men of our century. I should simply say, in the name of God, stop a moment, cease your work, look around you. Every heart has its own skeletons. We lost because we told ourselves we lost. Here is my advice to you. Don't marry until you can tell yourself that you've done all you could and until you've stopped loving the woman you've chosen, until you see her clearly. Otherwise, you will be cruelly and irremediably mistaken. Marry when you are old and good for nothing. Otherwise, all that's good and lofty in you will be lost. Kings are the slaves of history. If you want to be happy, be. War, on the other hand, is such a terrible thing that no man, especially a Christian man, has the right to assume the responsibility of starting it. Without knowing what I am and why I am here, Life is impossible. Instead of going to Paris to attend lectures, go to the public library and you won't come out for 20 years if you really wish to learn. 
Nothing is so necessary for a young man as the company of intelligent women. Free thinkers are those who are willing to use their minds without prejudice and without fearing to understand things that clash with their own customs, privileges or beliefs. This state of mind is not common, but it is essential for right thinking. The strongest of all warriors are these two, time and patience. I sit on a man's back, choking him and making him carry me, and yet assure myself and others that I am very sorry for him and wish to ease his lot by all possible means, except by getting off his back. Be bad, but at least don't be a liar, a deceiver. War is so unjust and ugly that all who wage it must try to stifle the voice of conscience within themselves. An arrogant person considers himself perfect. This is the chief harm of arrogance. It interferes with a person's main task in life, becoming a better person. There is no greatness where there is not simplicity, goodness and truth. To say that a work of art is good, but incomprehensible to the majority of men, is the same as saying of some kind of food that it is very good, but that most people can't eat it. Historians are like deaf people who go on answering questions that no one has asked them. Faith is the sense of life, that sense by virtue of which man does not destroy himself, but continues to live on. It is the force whereby we live. Joy can only be real if people look upon their life as a service and have a definite object in life outside themselves and their personal happiness. I often think that men don't understand what is noble and what is ignorant, though they always talk about it. A great literature is one of two stories. A man goes on a journey, or a stranger comes to town. Boredom, the desire for desires, 